Okay, so we're trying to find the perimeter of the triangle ABC. So we want to, this is the triangle ABC. So we need to find um, AC. So we have a nice right angle triangle here. Nice right angle triangle here. Okay, let's find this. Okay, let's look at this uh, right angle triangle here. We want to find what um, AE is. So AE squared plus 20 squared is equal to 28.3. So you should be able to find what AE is. Okay. Then we want to find what uh, CE is. So C using Pythagoras, we've got a nice right angle triangle located here. So we've got CE squared plus 20 squared is equal to um, 54.3 squared. Okay, and therefore we can find what C is and the perimeter okay, is going to be equal to 28.3 plus 54.3 plus AE plus CE. Okay, so we need to find uh, AC, so let's draw AC first. Okay, let's draw AC. Uh, okay, so in order to find AC, uh, we can see a right angle triangle here. We need to find what X is, okay? So, we also know what this side is. This is also gonna be X. We should be able to see a right angle triangle here. So we've got, uh, here we have X, we've got this side here, and we've got this, which is 10. The entire length is nine. When we do, we subtract uh, three from nine, we get this as uh, six. So to find X, uh, we've got to use Pythagoras, okay? So we've got a nice right angle triangle. So we have X squared plus six squared, Okay, is equal to 10 squared. So we can refine our x value. And so once we found x, okay, we can find uh, the length of this triangle here. 
So we want to find this length. Uh, this is x, and this is 9. Okay, I'm going to call this length here, I'm going to call it y. Okay, so here this will be 9 squared plus x squared is equal to y squared. Okay. You um, to pause the video and have a go at trying to find the x value and have a go at finding the y value. Okay, so this is made up of five pieces of metal. Okay, so, so this piece, this piece, second piece, third piece, and fourth piece. Okay, and we need to work out the entire length used. Okay, so we've got 12, 12 here, we've got five, so 12 plus 12 plus five plus five. And then we've got to work out this length here. So let's call it x. Okay, so how do we find x? So we can use Pythagoras. So we have 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to x squared. Okay, so find uh, your x value and then plug it in to work out the total uh, length. Okay. Now, to find the, uh, the weight, okay, so for each meter, we have, um, it's 1.5 kilometers, uh, 1.5 kilograms. So, it's length, total length, okay, so we need to multiply it by 1.5 to find the weight.
Okay, so this is a uh, tilted square. So we want to find the area of it. Okay, so area is equal to length times width. Okay, and since this is a square, it's going to be the length and the width um, is the same. So this is going to be x squared. So we need to find what x is. Uh, so here we're using the skills of uh, Pythagoras. Okay, so we know it's gone three uh, across, uh, one up. So using Pythagoras, we've got three squares plus one squared is equal to um, x squared. Okay, so here this is going to be nine plus one is equal to x squared. Okay, so x squared is equal to ten. And x squared is also equal to our area. So the area is equal to 10. Okay, so we need to get from A to C. So on this path. Okay. So um, what do we know? Um, we need to find this bit here. So this is the uh, yellow line. I'm just going to call it yellow. Okay, so that's going to be um, AC minus the diameter, which is 10. Okay, now we need to find what AC is. So, so using Pythagoras, so AC squared is equal to 60 squared plus 40 squared. And finally, we need to work out the green. This is the uh, Circumference of a semicircle. Okay, so green. Okay, so using a knowledge of circumferences of semicircles, the arc uh, So we have uh, a circle circumference, full circle circumference is 2 pi r. And this is going to be uh, half that. Okay. This is also the same comparison as the diameter, the diameter uh, times pi times a half. Okay, and the diameter is ten. So ten times a half is five. So five pi. So, okay. So, okay. So. The shortest distance is the shortest distance okay. is equal to uh, the yellow, which was the yellow, just remind us what the yellow was. The yellow, okay, plus the green. Okay, so try to find the, uh, the, the yellow path, try to find the, uh, the green path, and then you can find the shortest distance.
Okay, so this question, we are aiming to find P T. Okay, so before we worry about this, let's find the lengths of the edges. So let's find QR first. Um, okay, so look at this triangle QR. So we've got Q, we've got R, 2.5, okay, we've got this angle here is, um, this angle here is 6, okay, and let's call this uh, X, okay. So we have an angle which is 6, we have the opposite, and we have the adjacent. Okay, so we have opposite, which is 2. We have the adjacent, so we're trying to find the adjacent, which is x, and we have an angle, 6. So angle is equal to 6. Okay. So what, uh, what uh, geometric function relates opposite with adjacent? That is the tangent. So tan 6 is equal to the opposite, which is 2.5 divided by x. Now we want to find what x is, so I rearrange this equation, so x is equal to 2.5 divided by 10, 6. Okay, so that will give us uh, this x here. Uh, what about this length here? Okay, I'm going to call this y. Okay, how do we find y? We can use uh, Pythagoras. So y squared is equal to x squared plus 2.5 squared. Okay, so we found y. Okay, now we are basically ready to find pt. Okay, so I need to draw this triangle. So this is pt. Okay, and got PQ which is 3.8 and, and it has Y okay this is PQ so how do we find PQ again we're using Pythagoras so PQ squared is equal to 3.8 squared plus Y squared Okay, so have a go at finding x, have a go at finding y, and then find uh, pq.